Hey everybody, Rory here. All right, so I just wanted to chit chat with y'all today. Nothing special. We are working on the four agreements, but I think I'm just gonna talk for this one. All right, so I wanted to share something. I did a wash and go for the first time. I know I'm not supposed to be pulling it and all that stuff, but I did a wash and go for the first time. And it is really like, I think my hair, first of all, like when I pull it down, it's like the same length, but it doesn't look like it. You know what I mean? Like this side looks like it has a lot like a whole big lock of longer pieces. So it's like, what is going on? You know what I mean? It's like one side is like shrunk up, one side is longer. So I'm like, is the curl pattern di different? So if any of you guys are watching this and y'all are into natural hair, please help me figure out what to do with this. <laughs> like, like it feels like I need a cut to or a trim because I, I really, I'm not supposed to be, cutting cutting my hair but I can trim it but it seems like it needs to get trimmed into shape because it's like whoa like oh my gosh <laughs> but other than the shape I really like the whole wash and go thing I see why people do it I like the whole wash and go thing it's like cute do you guys like it because usually I do a twist out and um and usually like all the time I do a twist out. I am always doing like I do my twists. I have six twists and yeah, six and and I knot them. I every night I I condition, you know, I treat my hair every night with, you know, nice oils and moisture and stuff. And then I knot them up and I put them away. I, I you know, put a scarf on or whatever. But um, I have some breakage definitely like around here because I'm always having a ponytail. So I have a little bit of breakage right here. I have a little bit of breakage at my crown. You probably can't see it, but I was like, maybe I'll do the wash and go thing because then it'll be less stress on my hair. And boy, it really showed me how I need a serious um, trim. So if y'all know anybody who's good um, with natural hair, because I usually don't go to anybody else, as you can see. <laughs> but I think I need to. And I never make it straight. So whenever I trim my own hair, like it's not straight. So it's that's like I'm either trimming this side too much and this side not enough, or I'm trimming it differently or something wrong, or it just has a different curl pattern because that curl does look bigger. No, they look kind of the same. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. But if any of you guys know the trick to the wash and go thing because like I don't know if y'all know the trick let me know but I did enjoy this wash and go now what did I use I use because it looks like I don't know if y'all could see it but the definition is good it was still wet um this morning so it's got a little poofiness in it because I didn't I don't have a diffuser um but what else? The, I used Eco Styler with Black Seed and something. Black Seed and Flax? Flax? Maybe Flax Seed and Black Seed? No! Black, what is it called? Castor oil. I think it's Black Castor oil and Flax Seed with the Eco Styler gel. And I had bought it some time ago and it was just so thick. I was like, mm, I don't think I like that. Um, so I put it on and I like the moisture. I like the sheen. Um, it seems to hold the hair together, together really well. Um, the only parts that look a little poofy were the parts that were still wet. Um, and I don't dry my, like I don't use, um, heat on my hair. I've never have. So if y'all got some advice for me, please let me know. <laughs> but, um, and what did I, what did I, um, I think that's all I use. And then I have this oil now, 
the young lady that I got the oil from, I, I'll have to find her information um, because I love her oil. Um, and I, I did that in my scalp. And she, I saw her at, she had a, a Kia, like a stand, a table at one of the eLife events. They do the Black Wall Street once a month. And she was there. And I got one, I got her oil. I had another oil and it the base of the other oil was um, olive oil. And what I noticed is my scalp doesn't like olive oil and my hair doesn't either. It does not penetrate. It just sits on top and then it'll create cakiness on my scalp. So I had to stop using this other oil that I really liked, but my scalp didn't like it. Um, so now I might use it as I'm making my own products, I might put it in my own product because I do like that oil, but it can't be my base. My base has to be something lighter than olive oil. Um, so anyway, so I used her oil and it felt so good because she like has peppermint in it. She has, what else does she have in that? Coconut oil, peppermint, rosemary. She has a lot of good ingredients in it. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. I just was taking a break from talking about the um, four agreements for a minute. <laughs> and since I have a new hairdo, I thought I would share and ask for some advice. So anyway, y'all, um, I guess that'll be it. I just wanted some advice on this hair. And I got this little piece of hair that broke off. I feel so bad for my hair. But anyway, y'all, um, thank you for whatever advice you all provide me with. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy your day. Ashay!